All right, <clears throat> there we are. <clears throat> I have indeed updated my journal. It's time. Oh, we're back. Hey, thank you for the resub, Ran. All right, let's go to the booth thing. This that drops away. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, hello. Hi. It's been a little bit. Took more or less last week off for reasons. It was kind of yeah. It's blindfold. I like I like that on the on the splash screen. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> Trying out, uh, getting back into a stream today, see how it goes. Um, I'm just going to do some, some more Planescape, because I need to do that. Oh, yeah, no. I don't think I have any of the dumb costumes. But I was, I didn't want an April Fool's, so we'll do the thing. It's fine. Alright, I'm going to make sure it's all working. Video capture, window capture, game capture, there it is. One time, one time no whammies. Alright. Okay, looks like it's working now. Uh, so let's do the thing. Ah. Of course, as soon as I transfer to it, it doesn't work. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, resume. Where the heck were we? I... <sighs> oh, that's right. We're in the... Where's the map? Clark's Ward. That's right. Mm. I'm gone. Uh, we've got all our party together. Where's my journal? Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> Oh, that's it. We were looking for Ravel or Ravel Puzzle Well. And there's a bunch of other things we were also doing. I'm trying to remember now. Oh, the Civic Fest Hall. Just a few minor tasks. Uh, the linguists. Oh, we learned that. Yeah, the Curiosity Shop. The apothecary. Actually, you know what, let's go in here. I got nothing else to do. Well, I probably do, I just don't know what at the moment. Curiosity shop. Ooh. She's blue. Alright. Hello. Let's go have a chat. <clears throat> oh, she's busy. How about now? Uh shop featured Hey Pix. Sharp featured woman's appearance is attractive, though somewhat disturbing. Blue black skin and bright yellow eyes. She examines you. Bat like wings unfold from her back and seem to settle back into her skin. <coughs> ah, floating disembodied prevaricating skull and fall from grace. Or whatever it is you call yourself now. Truly a pleasure to see you here. What are you there? Traffic among our kind anymore. Is your assignment here almost finished? Uh, do not know what assignment you're referring to, Vrishika? Vrishika. Oh, your presence here brings with it many questions. Thus I heard, you are a standard barrier for the company of the vulture. How did you come to the seagull? Oh god, okay. Clearly I've walked into something here. Also, hey, Kaitana. It's <laughs> like, sorry, I didn't realise there was there was beef here. Oh yeah, demons and devils. That makes sense. <clears throat> Where will your orders take you next? You see, little man. The best temptress is the one that can make you buy into the illusion of being both promiscuous and yet virtuous at the same time. A prostitute priestess, as it were. Mistress Grace is among the greatest. Are you not? You would not think that a score thousand years of slavery had left their scars, no? It speaks of the coldness you've never heard before. The air becomes ice as she dissects Frishika with her gaze. That is enough. Dang. Hey, well, though you're the ones who came into my emporium. <clears throat> well, okay. Okay. I just got here. So, hey, we... You're the scarred man who's been going around asking all the questions. Yeah. You look lost. Do you want to come in? Or are you just casing the place because you have nothing better to do? Because Rishka can help you. How can you help me? Travel and trade extensively. Purchase a great... Hear a great deal. Purchase a great deal. Own a great deal. Perhaps I can make you a great deal. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, what you selling? 
Weapons and charms are some of my more exotic acquisitions. Yeah, weapons and charms. Hey, right, well, what you got? Divine sensor. I've got one of those. Magnifying lens. Scroll of cloud kill. Spider bracelet. Huh, what does this do? Summons the what now? Ah. The Foster was a source of the empire upon the plane of shale. Room to have 3,333 hearts. Different evil, and the evils are committed to discover how to summon the Somian and bind them to his will. Fiendish horses. Ah, can summon a fiendish horse. Nightmares or something. Okay. Oof, that's a lot. Hmm. Oh. I don't know that I want any of this. Apart from maybe the scroll of cloud kill. No worries. Thanks for dropping by, feet. Uh, before you go, there's something I'm toying with. I, do, I wasn't able to do it today because I didn't plan properly, but um, I'm thinking I might just mo try starting a little earlier because I think I can do that uh, for most days, um, considering where my audience is mostly. Um, there's a lot, we've got a lot of people uh, in the UK and, uh, and mainland Europe and so on. So I think starting like an hour or two earlier might actually work better. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, I didn't plan it properly today because I was thinking I was because I thought about it today and I was like, well, it's too late now. I need food. <laughs> uh, let's get the scroll of cloud kill though, because that's a spell. Oh yeah, let's sell this silver bracelet. Don't need that. Um, you got anything I can sell? You got some stuff on you? I'm gonna sell this enchanted hammer. I don't need it. More? You got anything? Is there no bone charm? You got nothing. All right. Let's see. Uh, what about the exotic items? Oh! Oh, hello. <coughs> you see, if you see nothing you like here, there are more items towards the front and back of the store. Okay, there's a fiend's tongue, gorgon salve, metallic cube monster jug front back all right what's the fiend's tongue all about <coughs> oh floating in a jar of brian frischka frowns at it this is a fiend's tongue a cornogons i think but who really knows it said that if placed into the mouth of any living thing it will give the ability of speech even if there was none before Ooh, yeah 66 coppers yeah give me that <clears throat> Please enjoy your newest acquisition. Give me those exotic items again. What have we got? The Gorgon Salve? Word sl sword Slinging Prime Warder? Perseus, I think. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <clears throat> uh oh. Smeared onto the surface of any being turned to stone, it will revert them to flesh. Only 100 copper commons, a bargain considering how handy it might come in should you ever find a friend of yours transmuted to rock. Sounds good, we can afford it. What's the metallic cube? <clears throat> a replica of a cube-like creature with huge eyes on one of its faces. Two legs, two arms, two folding wings. 18 points of articulation. Mm. Rishka smiles at you as you pick it up. A collector's item, perhaps. A piece of artwork. Who knows? But I, I like it. If you ask around, someone might know more about it. 1,500? You want that for 1,500? Let me see some other things. Monster jug. <laughs> A plain looking jug, despite its common appearance, you would feel reluctant to touch it, as if it might bite you. It's a jug, it's got some sort of monster trapped in it. That's why your hair's pricking up like that. Sure, I'll take it. 123 copper, sounds good. Uh, you got anything else? Front of the store? Alright, so, given where we are, <coughs> and the really weird nature of this place, I'm so very concerned about what baby oil means in this context. <laughs> baby oil. It's a real thing, of course. Thousands of mewling mortal babies went into the ma- Yeah, of course. Of course. Yep. Yeah, see? I Yep. Why did I tell you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this seems about right. It's like, uh, no thanks. Chocolate quasit. Some chocolate, 199. No, okay. There's a, wow, there's so many things. Codex of the Inconceivable. 
<clears throat> Can't explain it. Mere words simply won't suffice. A thousand copper commons. Yikes. No thanks. Davis tears. Uh, captured during a blood war skirmish. The fiend cemented the imprisoned angel for eons before he escaped. Twelve tears he shed in that time. Their price is one hundred copper commons. Sure, why not? A wise choice. Alright, what else we got? Front of the store. Elixir of horrific separation. That sounds terrible. Possess the darker half, a side of her which took control and at times bade her to do awful things. Split the darker half away from her, creating two separate beings. Mercy killers, however, found and executed her for a string of depraved murders before she could use it. 200 copper commons. Alright, hold on. You know what? Let me, let me see what I've got here. Because I got the Davis Tears the Monster Jug. <coughs> uh, there's the. Oh, that's the Dodecahedron. There's the notes. Right, that will turn them back. Uh, oh, yeah, copy spell. Yeah, let's learn that spell. Fiend's Tongue. How much money do I have at the moment? Two, 2601. Okay. Uh, no, the Twisted Ring is actually useful. The Silver Bracelet. You know what? I can probably sell that. I got a bunch of stuff that I can actually just sell. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, copper earring. Let's take off all the stuff that isn't actually doing anything. See, I like all the weird magic items. That's the thing. Uh. All right, you know, let's try again. Uh, yeah, the weapons and charms. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Gold ring, bronze ring. Let's get rid of that. Right, let's get rid of this, this, and this. <clears throat> Sell all of those things. Oh, you've got the silver earring. I should have sold that last time. Copy. Sell. Alright, well maybe we'll come back here later, but right now I'm going to go see if I can give <coughs> that tongue to, uh, what's her name? Ah, that's where I want to go. See if that makes any difference. Off we go. Okay. Oh no, whoop, no, no, wanted to quick save there. Thank you. Get out, out of the way! That's not helping at all. I'm gone. Ah, uh, what's her name? Where is she? Echo. She's bound to be around here somewhere. That's not. Uh... Ah, there she is. All right. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> I've found, got this fiend's tongue. I mean, yeah, it's, it's what it said. <clears throat> uh, picks the severed tongue, staring at it a moment, places it into her mouth, her eyes widen, there's a burst of reddish light from between her lips. Are you alright? Oh, I can speak again. I. Oh, joy, I. Damn thee to the darkest pits of the central of worm, kneel before me in supplication! Yikes. Eh? Huh? Whoops! Updated my journal. Oh, oh! I also got the David. Ah, uh, sure. Try the Davis Updated tears. Updated my journal. Hmm. That was a g okay. I believe you. The tears are working. I can speak my own voice once more. Oh, awesome! And my pleasure to help. Ah, okay. I've got some questions. What are you doing here, student? Okay. Was is lost in thought. But without the ability to speak for so long, most patrons come to me to seeking someone to listen. Someone attentive and capable of understanding. Now I can speak much more. I wonder if the time has come for me to move on. Ah, sensei. Yes. That's some other questions. Okay. School of sorts. Yeah, we, we knew that. Ah, I do. Not only does she exist, she has children. She Updated what? Updated my journal. 
One of them is here at times, Kasai Siris. She is a child of rivals, although she is loath to accept it. Ah, sweet. Never gotten her to admit it, though I am sure it is true. Ah. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. I can make that work. <laughs> we just go, boop. Are you rival's daughter? What? Why'd you hear such a thing? Just updated a my journal. Now stop bothering me. My father raised me. Do I look like a night hag to you? The eyes, the the teeth. Perhaps I'll speak later. I'm no longer in the mood. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Quick save. Quick, quick save. Right. What happens if I say Echo told me? Ah. No, of course not. Okay. Uh, interesting. Let's see. Journal. I just have to find a way to prove it to her. Okay. So I did just quick save. Maybe I should. <coughs> Hinge stopper. Despite its common appearance, you feel. Let's see if anything comes out. At first there is nothing, then a black viscous liquid begins to bubble out from the jug's mouth, forming a slimy pool of steaming tarry filth on the ground. It begins to dissolve in your hands, the pool begins to rise, throb, and rise to form a tall, hideous creature. Oh. Yeah, that'll do. Let's load that quick save. I'm gone. Yeah. That uh, mm, that could have gone better. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Okay. <clears throat> so. Why do I keep pressing that? That's the wrong button. It's a civic festival, apothecary. Uh, did I go in here? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh. Right. Ah. Who there? <coughs> oh wow! Left one flicks to you to look your way. Reverses his right eye. Blink. Strange gurgling comes from his throat. Um. Hello. I call the alchemist. Let's kill me. This is something. Ah, I'm fine. What the? Glowing pustule suddenly burst from the side of his neck. Oh, good. Oh, good. <clears throat> what? Yeah, what's going on? Too much to drink. Yeah, too much of what? Potions. Too many potions. Polymorphin, they were brooding in limbo. Dope. Oh. Something happens. Can't seem to help but sample stock. Two of us would be uh, grateful. Alright. Uh, okay, so that's messed up. <coughs> can you can you buy something? Okay. It's just a lot of charms. Okay. Hmm. Is there something I'm missing? Have I actually. You know what? Let's just take a look around here. Ah, trying to figure out what to do. Ah. Ominous leading archway leads underground. Ah. <coughs> you there, sir? Would speak with me? All right, all right. What do you want? <coughs> Were you perchance here going to visit the tailor? I what? 
Because I seem to have offended the man. I've commissioned the hot-blooded fool to make me a costume. He's thrown me out of his shop and will not speak with me now. So what... What have I done to deserve such treatment? I was a patron. Well, yeah, what do you want from me? Oh, oh, um... Fetch my costume for me. A masquerade to go to. I'll do it, but not for free. Fine. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. You want, you want a costume? Okay, okay. <coughs> Let's... What do I have to do for this guy? Ooh, this is a pretty decently sized tailored shop. Done. Racks of clothing. T Grace, get get out from behind there. You're not supposed to be there. <coughs> you there? Short, heavy set, middle aged man wearing clothes seems to be spun of glittering gold. Got a bolt of cloth strung across a wooden frame, currently embroidering some pattern. Hello. Uh, as he says, shimmering motes of light seem to sparkle and drop from the tip of the needle. Good sir, did you hear me? Greetings, Master Gon... Cal... Mas ah, immediately turns from his work and bows, uh, bows politely to fall from grace. Greetings, Lady Grace. How is that? How is it that I can help you today? The order is almost complete. Your skill demands time and no doubt what comes from your hands will be pleasing. This man here wished to speak to you. Oh, of course, and so, sir, what was it you were to see me about. Uh, <coughs> uh, what were those lights while you were embroidering? Nothing, sir. A bit of the art, which I at times weave into the fabric with fancy strikes me. Ah, enchanted clothes. I see. Ah, nothing that would fit you, that is for certain. What's, yeah, what you got anyway? Ah, whoa, oh, hello, okay. Bodice of the Perilous Quest. Only by fall from grace. Uh, enchanting the weave. Not only does it clean itself, its magic will slowly heal her as well. Oh, and there, these are expensive. Woof. <coughs> ah, okay. Brazen Rogue. Right, leather armor. Um, <coughs> okay, makes so it gives you plus one Thacko, armor class four. Okay. Jerkin of the Flitting Shadow. Also usable only by Anna. So, pickpocket and stealth bonus. Okay. Dang. What, do, what does she currently... Okay, hold on. The chastity bodice, which is AC5, weight 5, doesn't do anything else. Just repairs itself. I mean, that's a lot. Alright, let's see. Uh wanted to pick up a dustman costume. 30 copper commons. Hold on, don't I already have one of those? Alright, you know what, let's see. Let's see if it's the same. It probably is. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll warn you. Okay, if this is for the upcoming mas masquerade of Lord Erd, many folk are already attending as dustman. Fair enough. <clears throat> Alright, so that must be the, the thing the guy wanted outside. And then over here? What's in here, I wonder? Is this just a changing room? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. Where's the door? There it is. Hmm. Alright, alright, where are you? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, it cost me 30. My journal. Now, I'll be off. Wait, he said many people were already going as dustmen. Blast, I would hate to arrive in such a common costume. I could try and get another one for you. I could see if he has another ready. I will, but it will cost you. Here! 20 copper coins. Alright, fine. My journal. Okay, so we go back inside. We go talk to him again. Whoop! Coming through. Uh, another different costume. Uh, Godsman costume. 50. Yeah, sure, alright. Thanks, buddy. Alright, time to go. <laughs> Let's see if that meets your fancy. You there! 
Yeah, it cost me 50. My journal. All right. I mean, I got XP for that. I'll. Uh, that's that's not nothing. Uh, see, I've got enough to buy one of those items. I don't know which. Mm. <clears throat> And uh, that goes to Under Sigil, right. Hmm. I'm not really using the money for anything else right now. Okay, let's go talk to him and buy one of these. Yeah, magical clothes you have. So, Perilous Quest. Uh... Increases regeneration versus, yeah. And being extra stealthy or being not. You know what? Let's take this one. Okay. So, here. I do not think we know each other oh. well enough. Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Ha ha. There we go. See? All right. Yeah. Seems good. Does that actually change the character model? I'm gone. Or is it just, or is it the same? It looks the same. That makes sense. Ah, maybe there's something down here I can check out. <coughs> Ah, what's this then? Ooh. That appears to be some sort of... What the heck? The Advocate's Home. Okay. Hmm. hmm. That also goes to Under Sigil. <coughs> Weird. Let's go over here, shall we? I wonder what's in here. Oh, but it's probably an inn of some sort. Nope, it's a small dwelling. All right. Well. All right. No, no. Come on. All right. Let's get out of here. <coughs> uh. No. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I know. Way to split someone. Ah, now. Quickly! To the thing. That was the that was the potion guy. Yeah, it was two people in one. Alright. Let's go through here. Right. You there! Things do I get out of the way. <laughs> Alright. Uh exotic items. Front of the store. Licks are a perfect separation. 200 copper commons. Sounds good. Uh, exotic items. Let's look at the back and actually. The strained lens, the Everest ring, rune covered ale stein, tattered rag doll. Front of the stir. It's coming apart the seams, the threads are unraveling. It's obviously intended to be a replica of the Lady of Pain. The button eyes and its plush softness don't strike much fear into your heart. Found in a well-trapped strong box sunk deep beneath the surface of Sigil. Some part of a small hoard of treasures and forbidden magical text. I don't know what it's for. 99. <laughs> yeah, the shop of convenient items, pretty much. Sure, I'll have that. Let's see what else we got. We got the rune-covered ale stein. Ale mug of unusual manufacturer which keeps its contents, usually beer of course, icy cold whatever the surrounding temperature. 299 copper commons. You'll enjoy the frostiest ale you've ever had outside the paraplane of ice. Sure! <laughs> I'm just going to buy, uh, let's see, back of the one, we've got the ring. Uh, the ring of almost invisibility. <laughs> 349 commons. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, there's the, this thing. Stained gl ground glass lens, the width of your hand, held in a brushed steel ring. 
Geared protrusion coming off the ring makes it look as if the lens should attach to some sort of clockwork machine. It smells faintly of horrible perfume. I have no idea what it really is. It radiates fairly powerful magic. But to me from a lower plane battlefield. Uh, conversation piece. Sure. Okay. Uh, hmm. Ah. Beer goggles. <laughs> Intoxicates wearer, immunity to map panic, minus one damage, plus ten base eight hit points, minus one to missile weapons, usable only by modrons. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, that's not much use to me right now, so here, you carry that. Lady of Pain Ragdoll. Yeah, let's identify this. Hold up. <coughs> the years haven't been kind to this tiny ragdoll. It's coming apart the seams. Intended to be a rip with her. Talk to item. That's a... <laughs> okay. You're just a cute little Lady of Pain, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> uh... Does nothing. Oh god, that could be a... Okay, you know what? Hold on. Alright. Hold on. <laughs> quick save. I know, sorry. Quick save. What could possibly go wrong? Hear my plea for Aiden. Help me in this hour of need. Uh... You suddenly feel a strange crawling sensation in the back of your skull. It comes with a premonition that saying those words will place you in terrible danger. Even feeling as you do could prove dangerous. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> That's okay. We're fine. Huh. Alright. Um. Yeah, we can carry that. Oh, the elixir. Right, that was one of the other things. Let's go see if I can separate those two. By making them drink another potion. Where are they? Ah, that's just up there. Alright. <laughs> I'm quite worried about what would happen if I if I try and talk to the Lady of Pain. Probably bad things, I would imagine. Very bad things. As, as I understand it, usually doesn't go well. How about this? Hmm. Alright, here you go. Look, 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 look. We can use this to make something that'll fix us. Blah. Gives us a moment. Uh, makes you some healing stuff for a reward. And sometime later. One goes here, and this one goes there. Ah, there we go. So we've got pestle and kiln. Ah, healing concoctions. Let's see now. I manufacture them. Nothing, of course. Uh, Ari's heart, powered hematite, hair of David thread from Asimon's robe, blood of regenerating creatures. That's just a drop. Oh. Oh, uh, sure, have some of my blood. It's okay. <coughs> oh, clot charm charms. Oh, sweet, okay. Uh, give me some. You can buy anything? No, I sell you anything. No, doesn't want to buy anything. Okay. What about the other guy? Let's see if he will give me anything. <coughs> uh, questions? Okay. Ah. Ah, well. Done. I suppose that's not nothing. We did get 10 clot charms. That's pretty good, actually. It feels like a quest item to me. All right. Hmm. Ah. No, I love to feel your duty. Ah. Thing over here? No, just another. <coughs> Where? Nah. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do at this point. <coughs> kind of stuck on it. Alright, let's go over here. That's quick save. Dangerous down there, you say. How bad could it be? Move along, sir. Guarding the stairway, sir. Where does it lead? Round below. Uh, yeah, why? Well, comes out, sir. Things that don't belong to you proper. Considering going down there, aren't you? Well, cautious. Rumours about the worst sorts of creatures living down below. Oh, you asking here, sir. Move along. Well, no, I just had some questions. Ah, alright. Hmm. Eh, yeah, why not? Let's see what's down here. You know, I don't like the sound of that. Alright. Oh! Oh, hello. Yes. Alright. Ooh. Endure. In enduring yeah, spell. Chromatic orb. What's up? Oh, skull mob. I didn't, that's a thing you can do, huh? Hi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That is a lot of skulls out of nowhere. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, this one. There we go. That was loud. Yeah, sorry. It, that'll happen sometimes. Oh, yeah, we should put that in your... There you go. Damn it. Okay, that was clearly a bad idea. I'm gone. Okay, okay. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> that was. Hmm. You know, they weren't kidding. Okay. So we're trying to find Rival Puzzle Well. We know that. Um. Someone in the brothel is supposedly her daughter, but we have to prove it. Oh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that in there. And that in there as well. Hmm. The problem is I don't know how to prove it. We know that she pissed off the lady of Something like that. Hmm. Okay, there's a bunch of different things. Um, uh, journal, beasts. Oh, that's for grace. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's NPC. Ah, there's a bunch of. Oh, there's a bunch of creepy things here. Huh. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Okay. I'm going to try... Talk to item. Truth. Huh, that didn't do anything. Why didn't that do anything? That's weird. All right. Hmm. 
Actually, okay, you know what? Let's go back in here. Can I? All right. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Let's talk to Fall from yes. Grace. Uh... I intend to seek her out. Uh, information. Updated my journal. Aha! If Revel does indeed exist, she's extremely powerful and cunning. If a fraction of the stories of her activities are true, she is a creature that has taken discovered new meanings of evil. Search for her is not a quest to be undertaken lightly. Should be quite the outing. Do you know anything else? Ah, here we go. One of the hags of the grey waste that she was believed to possess powers and cunning far beyond those of her sisters. This is evil security. Rumor has it her action set in the cage itself. Fiction. Lady of Pain dealt with her as all threats to Sigil are dealt with. Updated my journal. Sent to a maze from the lady's prisons. Okay. Updated my journal. So to have the power to take pieces of Sigil. Ah. In a small circle. And make a maze. Okay. Takes hold the prisoner. There is no escaping being mazed. Happen at any time. Walking down the street through a door. You are somewhere else. Tiny ghost maze reflecting in their eyes. It is said there is a portal that leads out of each maze, but they are too diff difficult to find. Perhaps they are left in to give the prisoner hope. Perhaps they are left in to torture the prisoner. Perhaps it is both. Hmm. A blighted plane, a uh, grey waste. Blighted plane lies effectively between Butter and the Abyss, frequently a battleground for the Blood War. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Blood War. Okay, there's a lot of things. Um, okay. Know about Revel. Alright. Anyone else who might know? Someone might know about in the first hall. Okay. Perhaps we'll head there then. Okay. So. Somebody in the first hall might know more. I guess that's where I got stuck and didn't actually go on from last time, so let's go do that. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, questions? Nope. Done. Oh yeah, this guy wanted a head, didn't he? Haven't seen your head anywhere. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Ooh! Hey, a spell scroll! Sweet! Uh, level 4 wizard spell. Sounds good. I'll take that. Um, hmm. Hey, Red. How is it going? Okay. Jumble Murder Sense. Amazing name. Okay. I guess we'll just see if we can... Nothing. Other question. Never mind. Alright. Let's go through here. Actually, hold on. Did I not go through here before? Or am I just... No, why are you going back this way? Oh no! No, Red, no! Not all the food in the fridge! Oh no. Ah. The crooked, you say? You there. Squat hunched old man. Oh no, not the yoghurt! Not the yoghurt! All gone. Yeah. A lecture. Alright, stay for the lecture. Seminar on the war. You'd listen about the blood war. If you're not, you're in the wrong hall. You best up yourself. Comfort love into Jilly and limber stems out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not boring and listen to Governor recite laws. Let's find some young sense. <laughs> hey. I want to hear this. Alright. 
Found the wife of your tannery and Batizu on your yeah, scaly eyes out the door. I'm not letting your ordinary bastards bend an ear to this and then listen to your barmy arguments. Alright. No discussion on who's right. Human point of view. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here to hear the horror of all of it. Floating fortress, woven weaves of human skin. Plains wide battlegrounds in the bud war. Tales of fiends locking fangs with other fiends. Arr. Let me peel back your lids and crack your bone boxes. Steam and heap of balmy nonsense to be done on that forge dog. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Can't imagine the scale Blood Wars fought on. Nothing you've seen, heard, or participated in. Numbers of legions, bloodshed. Nothing compares. Stay away from the whole thing. Fiends are killing fiends. Batizu slaughtering Tannery. Tannery butchering Batizu. Right now, neither's winning. Big stalemate this side of eternity. That's it. Can't be answering any questions. Oh. Uh, war itself. Damn it forever. Keep going until. Uh, Alright, so. Tannery are demons and Batizu are devils. Now, if I remember correctly, the reason they're called this, they, they're called Tannery and Batizu, not demons and devils, back when this was coming out and beforehand, because that was the. That's what they had to call them, because of the whole satanic panic thing. They're like, oh no, um, no, it's not demons and devils, it's these two things. Yeah, yeah, that whole thing. These days, we don't. That, that's not a that's not as big of a problem so they're just like no it's demons and devils you're fine <laughs> ah I can't make any difference it's too big yeah it's like they have to keep each other in balance because if one side gets too powerful it's a bad time for everyone else yeah Make a difference, which you can't. You shouldn't try, because the planes would tumble on down. Ah, here we go. Big bloody support beam propping up the planes. Kick it down, a lot of the planes come tumbling down with it. A lot of baggage rests on the back of the wall. The biggest, nastiest pack animal on the planes. Besides, as some say, war's great for business. Uh, I believe that is the 34th rule of acquisition? Or is it the 35th rule? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, never mind that. Another question. You, you, yeah, you okay there, buddy? Hey, right, listen, I'm no priest, nor would I want to be one. Keep evil out your heart. You die with evil in your heart, your spirit falls into the lower planes where you become a petitioner. Yes. Petitioners in the abyss and bateau get twisted into foot soldiers and get to fight in the blood war for all eternity. That's the dog, and that's the why the Batista and Tannerian corrupt all they touch, because they need more troops. Keep evil far from your heart, but... Ah, 34 is war is good for business, 35 is peace is good for business. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what started this whole thing? Yeah. They met. Ah, Tannery and Batizu crossed each other one day like two drunken bigots, they started fighting. Well, nah. <coughs> Imagine two drunken priests who believe each other knows the only way to live. Make those priests ripped with scales and fangs and horns and a cruel streak. Seven leagues wide and put them in an itty bitty cell, and you have a good idea of the. Yeah. <laughs> they disagree on how to be evil. Yeah, one of them thinks it should be orderly. Lawful. It's lawful evil versus chaotic evil. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Pix. <laughs> uh huh. We don't hate like we hate. We don't even know what hate is. We have one word for hate. They have. Thousands. That's why they fight. Ah. This is why some leather-headed Burke comes around asking about a job in the Blood War. They want some jink, they want a quick stint, and then they get along with their lives. That's one of those leatherheads. Mayhap I was a sellsword, and there was a little jink to be made in the war. Got me interested. Taught me a lesson. We're like ants running around the heels of dancing sub pack gods. Big men who claim to be big soldiers. Paper soldiers. War's a furnace for them. It makes them wake up or burn. Sounds like a bad time. Suffice to say, a man does what he has to to escape the war. 
the time you had to murder your own men to escape the war. Watch your mouth, that's a lie, foul lie, you bar me. I won't believe in every word of it. I didn't say I took it as the truth. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, part of the company of the Blazing Effigy, part of its original number 53 mortal mercenaries, only nine of us remained. Camped somewhere in Avernus, we were awaiting reinforcements for the next battle. Our tour was nearly done. In fact, I was to leave after that battle. As I had died there. Had I died there, I would have been there forever. Too much evil in my heart. Blackness, too much evil in my heart. There it is. I would have had, I've ended up a petitioner in Bator, an eternal soldier in the war. So yeah, what happened then? We were fled like dogs. Scurried across the plain for a handful of days, came to this great pillar of living heads. An awful sight. They jabbered and hissed at us for calling calling for us to come closer. Stole away from the others and went to talk to the pillar. Yeah, and I asked the pillar how I might be freed, how I might escape by door, and it told me exchange for two of my brothers. Ah uh, To me at the time it was just math. That is a pretty pretty bad choice to be forced to make. Not sure if I forgive myself. I'm just a soldier who's looking for a place to die. Trying to erase the stain of evil, cleanse my inner. Guys, Jesus? Uh, inner self, I guess. Before I die and return to the Blood War, like Jay, to keep people away from it all. Prevent them, prevent them from ever having to make a choice. Huh. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Where do we want to put? This is the last bit. Some of you are sensate, so I've got one thing to say. Don't sign up to see what the Piking Blood War is about. Don't be a balmy idiot. Use a sensory stone if you've got to know, but stay the L's away from anything. No, I know it's his name. I was trying to, like, how do I pronounce it? For real. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. End of the season session, so bye. Well, that was interesting. Anyone here worth talking to? Did I find anyone who knew about Ravel last time I was here? Okay. So they're training to be thieves. Training to be wizards in here, I think. Yeah. Right, they're just shooting things at... Oh, I had iron plates and things. Excuse me. Guys, that's not... The door's over here, come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, we were here last time and we talked... We listened to these two things. Um, three planes blind. At least I think... Did I listen to this one? Oh, no, I did. I did. Let's head that way. Right, this is where my room at the fest hall is. Room clock. All right. Let's take a look around. Right, this is where all my stuff is. Hmm. Endure. Hi. What's up? Yes. In enduring, grow mm. strong. Hmm. I don't trust the gif. I say we leave him behind. Hmm. Uh. Okay. There was a private sensor, or is this not where this was? No, that's the dormitories. All right. Back this way. Hmm. I guess we're going this way round. Sure, why not? Actually, hold on. Is there anyone in here? Yeah, no. Okay, 
epic save. Splinter! Can you show me to the sensorium? Uh, public sensorium, first of all. Oh, yeah, I haven't actually... Yeah, I guess I hadn't actually Done. been here. Well, let's take a look around, shall we? Because I managed to <laughs> bullshit that I was part of the this guild, uh, this group, yeah. Alright, so there's a scent stone over there. Right. Let's see what this is all about. Unusual light blue stone, securely fastened to the pedestal it rests upon. I hear your word. I wonder if I can't actually oh, use it. Because I'm not a member of the sensorium. That's probably why. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think these are all going to be like that. Uh, then again, worth checking out. Hmm. So they go and boop the scent stones. Maybe another party member can use it? Maybe. Hold on. Well, nobody here is a sensate, is the Ready. thing. Uh, can Anna use it? Why not? Yeah, no, she can't actually, like, use items, is the thing. I will hear you. I'm listening. Well, let's take a look around. I'm gone. See if there's anyone worth talking to. might be and then again there might not be ooh it's a big room anything going here nope yeah hmm uh, oh there's a guide maybe they'll be able to do something hmm. let's just keep looking around briefly all right you there guide uh, coming through pardon me excuse me uh, yes, I am. The six more than a dozen standard sensations and variables, well, six more extravagant experiences. Oh, use of a st oh, it's coin operated. I see. I see how it works. <gasps> no, Hosk. No, the April Fool. I've been had. <laughs> I've been had. Hey, Hosk. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, so there's the, the, the standard sensations. What do we got? Alright, we got unavoidable pain, tender love, mind-numbing tedium, sheer wonder, consuming impatience, tired surrender, and supernatural lust. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there more? Okay. Uh, give me some mind-numbing tedium. Uh, smaller chambers, three rooms clockwise from the stair. Well, it is violet in colour. That's this one. I'm curious to see what happens here. Alright. This will be the... Alright. Mind-numbing tedium. Begin the sensation. Couldn't be more than a few minutes long, but hours seem to pass. A long, boring lecture in the driest, dustiest hall in the University of Chalm. You look at, about at the vast hall, hoping to catch someone else's eye to pull a face at. But the other students are either asleep or staring listlessly into space. Oh yeah, I've had those lectures. The other students are either... You drop your quill pen, pick it up, drop it again, just for something to do. You consider stabbing yourself in the eye with it just to see if your senses haven't wholly been numbed by incredible boredom. You just kept talking in one long, incredibly unbroken sentence. Hey, I got some XP! Ah, a similar memory in your own mind. Sick. Oh, hey, if that's the case, I got some. Uh, I got some more experiences to have. Uh, the standard, please. Give me some tender love. <laughs> Two rooms clockwise, light blue. That's this one. All right. All right, begin. <clears throat> Sense yourself standing at the tips of your toes, press against someone tightly. Soft, 
lips brush against yours, giving you the most gentle of kisses. Your heart seems to flutter in your chest and you feel as though you could fall backwards and simply float off into space. Yeah, I'm getting memories from doing this. That's, that's nice. Some of these aren't going to be as nice, huh? <coughs> uh, Alright, give me... Let's see... Unavoidable pain. <laughs> one room, okay, so that's this one. I'm still glowing blue from that armor spell. It hasn't been used up yet. Either that or it's bugged. You shouldn't be glowing, anyway. Short and violent one, struggling with another slightly stronger man on the edge of a blazing hot stream of molten lava. Your weapon hand is slowly, inexorably forced closer to the magma. Wait, hold on, make up your mind. <laughs> Beads of sweat evaporate the instant they appear. they appear. The hair on the back of your hand blackens and smoulders above the awesome heat. Finally, your howls of suffering echoing from the canyon walls around you. Your hand in the axe as it, hold, it holds, plunges into the lava and chars to ash. Yikes! I've become radioactive. Oh no. <laughs> now I'm radioactive. That can't be good. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> Alright. I like that it says similar memory. It's like, wait. Did I dunked my hand in lava? That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Okay, so we've had these three. Yeah, how similar? <laughs> Are these, did I put all of these here? It might have happened. Sheer wonder. Alright. That'd be this one. Let's go poke that. <laughs> Begin the sensation. You open your mouth and take a shallow breath and water flows into your lungs like cool air. You smile and take a deep breath, gawking in all directions as you slowly sink to the bottom of the harbour where hundreds of colourful fish weave through the twisting tracks of brilliant coral. As your feet touch the bottom, you peer at the keel of your ship and laugh aloud with joy, a string of great bubbles shooting up towards the surface. Alright, that's neat. I do really like the, the whole idea behind these sensory stones and the, sen the sensate the sensorium's whole thing. It's kind of... it's, it's neat. <clears throat> Consuming impatience. Yeah. That's presumably this one. <clears throat> Begin! You stand debating with Amnus, the horribly slow Keeper of the Lion Key, as whether or not your quest is important enough for him to relinquish the artifact into your care. Exercise in sheer torment, each and every one of his words is followed by a significant pause. Each and every point he makes reiterates time and again before he lets you speak. Present an argument, then wait and wait and wait while he makes a counterpoint. If you shoot out the snappy counterpoint of your own, then must wait yet again for another of his drawling, meandering, seemingly endless counterpoints. It's everything you can do not to simply lop the fiend's tusked head off and snatch the key from his twitching corpse. Ah... I'm fine. Balance in I'm all things. What? I'm here. Okay. All right. So then we've got uh, consuming impatience. We did that one. Tired surrender. Violet. That's that one. Coming through. Whoops. Oh, still had everyone. Shuddering, chattering, hoping beyond hope to be found, you curl yourself into yourself beneath a blanket of snow to save what little warmth you ever have left. Fighting to keep your eyes open, to remain awake, you become aware that you can no longer feel your arms, your legs, or ice against your face. I'm tired, so tired, you at last resign to the inevitable. Close your eyes, bidding sleep a bitter welcome as the sense of loss forces a single tear doomed to crystallize before it even reaches your cheek from your aching eyes. So hey, I mean, this exchange rate's pretty good, like 10, 10 copper for uh, 750 experience, <laughs> more or less. Tired Surrender, no wait, we did that one. Uh, supernatural Lust, let's see. This one, this one should be interesting, coming through. 
Hammer through. Hmm. Ah, coupling with a succubus. That makes sense. Creature of such intense otherworldly beauty that even her fiend's horns and thrashing tail give you no pause. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> easy there, easy there. <laughs> Creature of such intense blah, blah 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 blah. She gasps under you and you desire her so completely that the whole of your existence seems focused towards this single goal. <laughs> That's, you know, that's a hell of a euphemism. As your life explodes from you in a starry burst, you hear the delighted laughter of the succubus as she drains you dry, leaving your body a soulless husk. Holy crap. Yikes. Uh, okay. <laughs> have, ga have gained something from using the sensory stone and now must walk hunched over. <clears throat> you You there. All right, we got some uh, the extravagant, please. Horrible regret, a shock and a rise to seething vengefulness, slowly dawning horror, indescribable frustration, a vastly important secret, lycanthropy. Horrible regret. Three rooms counterclockwise from the stairwell, reddish orange. Uh, that one. Mm. What's up, All right, what? All right, gang, let's go. <coughs> Just stand by in case anything happens. Horrible regret. You stand on the deck of your flagship, the Divine Hammer, as it floats over the continent of Agarheim, held aloft by the winds of magic. The very landscape royals and shudders beneath the bombardment of your fleet. A thousand ships, cannons, bombard and bombards hurling their sorcerous fire down like vengeful gods. The shockwaves begin to hit your ship only minutes ago. A constant vibration that sends shudders through the hull of the ancient craft and moves your very bones, accompanied by a constant rumbling bass. As the land's mountains begin to sink and seas that surround it begin to boil off into the atmosphere, your first officer comes to stand beside you. My Lord Admiral, permission to speak freely, sir. You nod your acquiescence, your stomach sinking as you guess at his question. But how? What gives us the right? A billion lives? You speak without turning to him, unable to take your eyes off Rumos, the nation's vast capital city, as it vaporizes into a cloud of superheated gases 12 miles across and growing ever wider. Ha! Huh. If you only knew the full treachery of the Agarites, first officer Felm, one which is beyond en most any man's comprehension, then you would know. You would speak of our right to annihilate them. We've no right to let them live. <clears throat> Surely among the hundreds of thousands, how many innocents? Silence! Speak of it no more. Our king has spoken. His will be done. The task set to us is a horrible one, not fit for contemplation or questioning. There is no room for pity, no room for remorse, only duty. You stand silently for a time, watching the last minutes of Agarheim. As at long last you sigh, a low, stuttering exhalation that sounds as if something has broken inside of you. Beneath the brazen plate that covers the ruined half of your face, your dead eye begins to weep. Falm, my friend, uh, I would have you understand. I know now, as I look down at what I have wrought here, that were I to think upon what I have done, what I have truly done, I would be struck mad. A deed such as this... The anguish would overwhelm and destroy me. So, first officer Falm, it must be that there are no innocents in Argaheim, no mothers, no children, no people, only traitors. Vile, cunning traitors who deserve no less than the full brunt of our most holy king's wrath. Do you understand? Yes, my lord. Now go, I wish to be alone. Falm, by your command, Lord Admiral. Falm bows, bows his head and returns below deck, leaving you to stand over the end of a civilization. Woof. Well, that was intense. Huh. Yeah, that was that was cool. <laughs> that was intense, but it was really cool. Uh, all right. So the extravagant are. Actually, hold on. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, another session. Okay, so the extravagant ones cost 50. So I've got enough for one more. Um, so let's do let's do one more. Oh man, let's see. A vastly important secret. Let's do that one. Violet in color. Okay, this one. Well, yeah, I, I think so. From what I understand of how the sensorium works is they want to uh, experience the multiverse and in all of its facets Done. not just the good but the bad the ugly all of them, you know so all the experiences are valid so they want to experience you know the highs and the lows and this is better than you know this is the sense stones let you do that without risk to yourself as, as it seems to be. Alright, vastly important secret, let's go. Six Imperial servants rush ahead of you, swinging the golden doors of the Dragon Palace wide. Long live the Empress! One thousand years! Long live the Empress! One thousand years! Dozens of loyal warlords, kings in their own right, drop to their knees, touching their heads to the floor in deference as you pass en route to the Grand Imperial Throne. As you turn and face your minions, seating yourself upon the Imperial Throne, you allow a small, satisfied smile to creep across your carefully painted lips. There is but one thought in the forefront of your mind. Day 75, nobody suspects. The body of the young Empress Wu Tsun Sha lies broken at the bottom of the Well of Solitude and that you, Bai Hua, a horse merchant's daughter, are at last poised to shake the Empire and the corrupt Wu Dynasty to its very foundations. <coughs> Keeb! Keeb! What aren't you telling me? The corrupt Wu Dynasty? Oh no! What are the implications? <laughs> ah! <laughs> no one suspects I am five meerkats in a trench coat. <laughs> ah! Alright. Oh man, I haven't leveled up at all yet. Oh well. Uh, well, bad news is I don't have enough money for another experience. Endure. What did you want What's the word, chief? In enduring, what did you grow wish? strong. Can I have a chat to this guy? <clears throat> That's some questions, yeah. Uh, oh, a sensei is free to use them at their leisure. Visitors must pay. I see. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> uh, Alright, let's go see about the private sensoriums. This is cool, though. I like it. Um, about you there. How can you help me? Can you show me to the sensoriums? To the private sensorium. Ah. I'm gone. Here we are. Ah. Ooh, this one's fancy looking. Done. Oh, perfect. Okay, so these ones I can just do because they're private. Ah, week-long hunting trek across the forests of Arborea. Yeah, sounds good. <coughs> Circle of white tents deep in the woods somewhere. The trees around you are by far the largest you've ever seen. There's an odd prickling sensation at the back of your skull. Surroundings melt into a colourless smear and then slowly resolve into what looks like the interior of a large grey sphere. It stands a figure almost identical to yourself. His eyes flash in the half-darkness. A mad smile splits his features. I knew you would come. Oh, this one's interactive. Hey. Who are you? Oh, you don't know. I can only think. Don't do me. Oh, don't. Oh, don't you know? Didn't all those filthy, lying, thrice be damned journals tell you who I am?
What? <coughs> so can we left for when I awoke the stones that found me? An incarnation? Burn them all I did. Oh, it's this guy. It's the asshole <laughs> incarnation. What do they say exactly? Lies, 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 lies! About filth about a man who forgets himself, other incarnations preserving their experience. Writing so later lives could benefit. Thieves, it's my life, mine. You want to steal my body and you won't have it. If you put stock in such trash, then yes. This was supposed to be a camping trip. <laughs> Those lying journals say. I spoke lies, lies, lies. My life. Where am I? Oh, this? Just a little trap. I realise that killing your, your body thieves might not be enough. I might have to trap you and snare you for eternity. You may have realised by now that there's no way out of this sensory stone. Your mind is locked here. You notice the rather sparse surroundings are left for you. All to help the madness set in good and quick while your flesh rots away. Alright, give me some questions then. He crosses his arms and looks away indignantly. Huh. I don't know what you're babbling about. <laughs> Alright, it was me. <laughs> Do you play with it a bit? Lose a finger or an eye? Mm -hmm. But I opened and read the thing just the same. No, impossible! I slew the one man who taught me dead language. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get out of this. I read it because I'm you. I'm not one of those false selves. You've trapped yourself here. I've trapped myself, don't you see? But that's not your... No! How? How? You can release yourself. Oh, now that's neat. Okay, now I wonder what happens if I go back in. Uh, ah, if you truck it, you'll... Right, leave it alone. That was cool though. Maybe I could have got some more out of him, but there's another one over there. Oh, there's a... What's this? Hello. Oh, there's nothing in there. Dang it. Wait. You there! Answer some questions! <laughs> Crack crunches down the object in his mouth and swallows. A bushy, brassy, white eyebrows furrow for a moment, rise and then furrow again. Hmm. Man reaches into his tunic, pulls out a puce coloured ball, regards it curiously, and then pops it in his mouth. <laughs> Savors the flavour of whatever he's put into his mouth. <laughs> Just like, I got some questions? Bites his thumb at you, then abruptly pauses. His cheeks swell with a violent gag. He spits up a large black fly. <laughs> uh, min, min erosion candies be damned. Ah, uh, what? Do you always traipse about molesting puissant mages with your ignorant prattle, babbling, blathering, chittering, chattering? Blah! I, I'm uh, sorry about your candy. You're so tasty too. Sorry? You should be, you python dung beetle. Mages deserve respect and bashers like you know their proper place, proper place! <laughs> Screw it! Gump! My delectably scrumptious bitopian fruit candy! That was good, can I have another? For the raw blistering nerve, what makes you think you deserve another candy, you unmanly churlish dullard? How dare you! How dare! Should I just kneel to this whip of yours? Pass my treasured candies onto your stigmated sacredness? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, come on, though. Mmm, so good, so good. Now, come on. Alright, fine. But I had some questions. Oh, he wants some chocolates. Okay, candies or chocolates would be nice, but nothing common, mind you. Bring something exotic. Oh! Okay, if we... The chocolate quasit probably is what works for this. Updated my journal. That... Achievement unlocked chaos bringer. Wait, am I chaotic neutral now? Quickly, to my stats. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, okay. Alright, what does this say? Aquatic blue stone has been sculpted so it appears to have melted into a pedestal it rests upon. The inscription beneath the pedestal. Logging. Let's see. As you place your hands upon the stone, its surface ripples beneath your touch. A chill washes over your arms like plunging your hands into a mountain stream. Submerge into the experience. <laughs> Blink and reopen them. Your eyes are brimming with tears and you are overcome with a terrible sensation of drowning. As the sensation rolls through you, there is a stirring in your breast, a hunger, poisonous like a serpent, biting into your heart until you feel as if your breast will explode. You want desperately to steady yourself, focus, but all that comes to your eye is tears. You raise your hand to wipe away your tears. Your hands are soft, delicate women's hands. They brush the stray tears from your cheek and you cup them in your hands, each of the tears like jewels shimmering in the lights. The lights are cast by candle globes that drift through your sanctuary. You have come to this place to gather your thoughts, to reflect on the past with an eye to the future, to cleanse the mind before the coming journey, yet you cannot concentrate. The thoughts remain in the present, trapped by the terrible feeling that rises in your breast. What did he mean? <laughs> you close your eyes, but his words echo in your mind a hundred a thousand times. Will he ever return? An echo. Only you. Only you. Yet you hesitated at the brink of time's door, and he must have thought you were afraid to go, but you were not. You were afraid to stay. And the fear of the serpent rides in your breast again, its fangs biting into your heart, filling it to bursting with its poison. The tears come again running down your cheeks in streams with his words echoing. It's his voice! Oh! You whirl and you gasp, he stands powerful in the shadows and he strides into the light of the drifting candle globes. You feel the serpent writhing and dying, he returned! His face stern, but somewhere in those features you can almost see his pleasure at seeing you. After all, he returned for- Ugh! Only you can help me, Dayanara, but it was wrong for me to ask you for your help. <laughs> Yet you, it is you, grey-skinned. Uh, like a statue shining from the light. <laughs> Are you that scarred? Your body looks like it's been bathed in knife blades. And yet you can see through Dayanara's eyes and she sees. How can she see in such a way? <laughs> she puts a cloak over your features. She sees you in such light. Terrible longing light for she... How can she feel... Oh, this is getting confusing. Alright, let's brace. Hold on. You feel your vision is tearing, doubling until you... F you are that man striding from the light. It is you, but not you. You feel yourself being torn. It is Dianara's experience, but at the same time it is also yours. And you... what? I asked too much of you to accompany me. <laughs> Hold on for one more dialogue choice. I have no right to place you in such danger for my sake. Ah, cold, the, uh, surgeons were chosen with cold skill without a trace of emotion. Sneering inside, knowing what the stricken girl will see through her long, longing stained eyes. And who, knowing you are, knowing, and who, are you that person? That man twisting her with your words, not knowing how powerful they are to her. Like balls from a ballista. Piercing her breast, her, yet she sees only relief at your return. How can she feel and not know you mean to? Whoa. Yeah, we're getting both here. We're getting like her feelings and memories and your own as well. <clears throat> Ask forgiveness. Tears again, doubling and bleeding until you are facing yourself again. Trying desperately to speak to warn Dianara that this is not a man, but a creature that kills for his own needs and doesn't care about you. You're a tool to him, a tool he needs to, but she speaks and you can't stop her. I place myself in a thousand dangers and embrace eternity for you, my love. I am not afraid. Listen to me, and I accompany you through the plains themselves. Should but through the plains themselves should bar the way. You feel yourself shattering relief and satisfaction. His satisfaction at her words, knowing she would say them, always knowing, and her admission of love is like the slamming of a portcullis across your heart. Trapped. She is yours, but you must be certain, so you drive the nail home. The way is dangerous. You'll have to be strong, far stronger than you are now. The wave of relief, the end of the longing, yet longing for him more at his words, not noticing his manipulations, 
All you need to be as strong and his path shall be as one with it with yours. Your thoughts are like fires, for you can be strong, stronger than he knows. No, no fear, you would die for him. I can be strong, I will. The words slide off him like water. The serpent in her breast, the one piercing her heart with ah my tongue. With its poison has been replaced by the serpent in the flesh. She sees nothing of this, and his next words are planned carefully, so carefully. I can't say if we'll succeed, but I'll do my best to protect you, and I would expect nothing less of the same from you. You may be required to make some sacrifices. A final terrible word, you feel yourself being torn apart. He means her harm. He means you harm. Harm, for you are her, and he means to hurt her, yet you need her to be harmed. You want to scream, scream at her that she is in danger. Run, run, Dianara, for his eyes unmake all things, and... Of course, my love. Life is sacrifice. This I have learned. Oh, wow. Okay. You speak the words, and in it you feel yourself dying inside. You're a spectator, and you've watched a woman die, for the words are a death sentence. Yet still she speaks, unheeding, uncaring. I left a legacy in my father's keeping, my love. Ask for the sixth, the sixth, the third, the K, and the S. In it, I bequeath everything to you. It's not much, but with it, I left... Updated my journal. Ooh! <clears throat> Wave of irritation washes over you. You clench your teeth to prevent the irritation from crossing your features. Must she always continue to prattle, even when you do not prompt her? Must she but... No, no, keep the irritation inside. Only a trace slips out. I cannot die, Diana. There's no need for such foolishness. Oh, man, this one's going. Huh. <coughs> She's overcome with fear. Fear that revolts you and the fear wells up inside her. You, you as you watch him frown and you hasten to correct him. You must know the reasons and know the wisdom behind them so he's impressed with your planning. Speak, speak before he turns away. You said yourself that you can forget things if you are badly hurt. There are things in the legacy that could help you remember should you forget yourself. Updated my journal. All right. <coughs> She has acted as you expected, yet there is something in what she says. I hope nothing in this legacy is of value. I do not want you to leave any things here in some safe that could be of use on our journey. Illusion is shattered just for a moment. You watch silent as emotion falls to the ground, splintering like silvered glass. Of some use. Even Dianara sees, and you hope just for a moment, you hope that she sees him for what he is, the serpent. And your hope dies. As in Dianara's eyes, the emotion is rebuilt, and the sliver's been drawn from the ground, the illusion rebuilt, but the slight sliver of pain remains. He thinks you have done something foolish. You did it for him. You must must make amends, but how? You must convince him the legacy is unimportant, but it isn't. It isn't. It's everything. It just has a few things to help you remember. The scythe of words falls on Dianara, so quick, so sharp, you cannot follow its arcing path. Things you do, Dino, are such romantic gestures. No matter. <coughs> wow. No. You have driven him away again like you did the night before. I feel the serpent stirring again, reborn, curling around your heart. There is the softest of hisses, yet he does not hear. Would you wish to leave a legacy, my love? For yourself or for anyone you would want to? It might help you remember if you left something for yourself or the ones you loved. Yeah, this time the illusion holds. The serpent is cloaked. The serpent is cunning, and it shall not reveal itself until it strikes. Not likely. The things I would leave for myself would not be safe in some advocate's office, Dianara. But enough of this. I must leave. He's leaving. You must make him remain. It swirls around you, terrible, spiraling towards the final scene. The question you, she wants to ask. Don't ask it, Dianara. Don't ask it. Silent. Be silent. His anger, his irritation. What now, girl? What now, you mewling banshee? Ooh. Looks like I am in no danger of that. Come, Dianara. Can't these questions wait for the morn? There is much... Say it, say it, she... You... Do you want me to come with you, my love? The words he... You are about to speak are true. The truth is not the truth she sees. There are no lines, only cold calculations. Of course he wants you to come with him. You understand it clearly, too clearly. He has invested too much in the poor girl to let her go. I did not want your company. You know how I feel about you. Then lie comes swiftly, unburdened by emotion. I love you, Dianara. 
You feel the lie wash over her like a radiance is a shadow of truth, a serpent's kiss, and he means you harm, and she can't see. You want to call out, but she's crying with joy, even as... Cry with joy, frustration, joy with despair. Oh. You scream, scream as you tear your hands from the stone, bloody tears rushing from your eyes, running in streams down your arms, your hands to coat the stone. Blood, her blood, and you can't warn her and you can't stop crying. <laughs> Suddenly fall from grace is there. Her touch is gentle like silk and she brushes the tears from your eyes, even as you feel the screams welling up within you. Shh, cradling your face through bloody tears. I can't bear it. I couldn't stop her. I wanted to, but I couldn't do anything. And that is the nature of longing. The desire for that which you cannot change or possess. Will you be alright? I just need a moment. Ooh. <sighs> Much as you want to hurl the memory of the experience from you, you hold it fast because you know it's important to remember it. It was you in that experience. It was Dianara's experience. But because it was you, your memories flooded you and you could feel both sides at once. Who were you? Who was that shade of you? Well, that was a hell of a thing. That was a hell of a thing that just happened. I hear your Hi. words. What's up? Yes. Uh... Yeah. Okay. O okay. It was really good, but wow. Yeah. No, that that incarnation, complete asshole. Like, and very different. Like, so the the one in the blue, in the purple stone. I guess the the um um was was not cold and calculating was kind of manic this was like a cold calculating evil bastard yeah and you yeah absolutely picked that was both you experienced both sides of an abusive relationship in a memory from the outside you know looking on unable to change anything because it already happened woof that was a hell of a thing damn also, I need to break because that was a lot of text. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to drop a proper save here. Uh, save. Uh, and I'm going to go take a quick break and <laughs> soothe my throat and do that sort of thing. So, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Let's do that. Right, BRB.
All right. <clears throat> There we go. Ah. Well, that was a heck of a thing, yeah. The team has to play back and get their memory before they've had time to fill out memory. Stronger emotions. Yeah. Mm. I've never actually seen Standalone Complex. I watched Ghost in the Shell. <coughs> but I never actually watched this series. If you All need right. me, I'll be over here. Bored? Alright, I'm okay, I'm 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 a little nervous now as to what the Hold on. Let's be right there. What this one means. I'm gone. <clears throat> okay, the messenger. Reading series sharpens, clashing, its brightness becoming more than you can bear. You close your eyes to shut it out, submerged to the experience. The skin along your arms becomes numb as if all sensation is being bled from them. Tired, so tired. <clears throat> your lids feel soft and sluggish, unresponsive. Sitting on a dirt floor, the smell of coffee, blood and herbs? Why are you here? You came here to... what? Memory fails you. you feel a growing panic beginning to well up within you. <clears throat> Ah, here we are. Ah, awake now, are you? A questioning all are done? The voice is an old woman's, thick and scratchy, as if it's trying to force its way past a thick layer of dust. You cannot open your eyes and see the woman, but you feel a shiver of fear. Something is wrong, terribly wrong. You try to respond, but like you manage is a ragged croak. You can't feel your tongue and your eyes? What's wrong with your eyes? Now I see me you did, I spoke you did, and poorly so the price you have paid. No more of your questions. Now you will listen and you will remember my words. For in minding me you shall live. Not if you hear me, another bit or another bit shall I take. Okay. Remember me, traveller. Remember me to a stone, one of the petty, pretty glimmers in your festive hall. Use it like a cup. Pour what you feel into it and know this. Remember me to a man who wears a skin of scars and tattoos, who seeks memories but has misplaced them. If smart he is, he will be in the knowing of me. Tell him to find me, or if I am not to be found, tell him to come to the glimmer stone, and we shall speak, my precious man and I. Nod if you are hear me, ragged thing. Ah, polite I listen to uh, listen so long. When he comes to the Glimmerstone, tell the man to speak my name, and your pain shall not have been in vain. There's only a sick gurgling noise. What happened? Who is this person? Why are you You slip into unconsciousness? Ravel, it's me! Updated my journal. Ravel? Six thousand XP! <coughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, I'm just gonna have some more of this. Ah, my precious man. Slow shuffling of feet. <laughs> Feel a sharp pinprick in your left eye. And suddenly, barely you can see with your one and only eye. You lie in a gray hut upon a dirty floor where blood, your bright red blood has seeped into the surrounding gray dust. Your arms are gone, your legs have been hacked off at the knees, yet you feel numbed, and there's no pain, only fear. Someone above you looking down on you. Ra ah. As you look up through your body, blurred vision, you see a horrid bluish-grey face grinning with yellow tusks. Ravel is pleased. I wonder in I was if this messenger would make it. For weak he was when his bits were placed on my plate. Oh, yeah. Took his eyes, yeah. Yet to the f festive hall he returned, it seems. And our time to together he has shared. And now you have come. Success. Many questions. Shakes her head. <clears throat> 
Uh, blurred vision and seeing three images at once. Graying hair is like brambles drifting down her shoulders. No, only time for answers to travel, heaven. She has no time to waste. <laughs> Excuse me. With your guess questions. Know this, and in knowing, grow strong. You must find me, my precious man. How? Updated my journal. Shh. I am beyond knowing in a lady's place. Now shh, and listen to revel. There is much you must do. To find me, there are three things you must do. Find the door, know the key, then unlock the key. Door. Not a finished thing, at least when I last gazed upon it. In the passing of time, perhaps now well wrought it is. Go to the place of forges and steel. Forges and steel, you say. I wonder if I should write this down. I mean, I have a journal. But still. Forges and steel. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, see, see that's the thing Red, we're not unlocking the prison, we just have to get in. And if I remember how this works, or how this is supposed to work, given what we know, uh, getting in isn't, getting out is much more difficult. <clears throat> uh, what is the key we speak of? To know of the key, speak to one of the knowing ones. Many there are in the festive hall. Many. <clears throat> Yet only one there who knows and knowing of what key is you need. Loosen his tongue and secrets shall a spill forth. Okay. Unlock the key. <clears throat> and knowing the key is not enough. Knowing it and unlocking it, the two tasks that must be joined, for at times a thing knows not its nature, but you are no stranger to that. Yeah, how am I talking to someone else's experience? Of stones and experiences and telling will the Ravel do, but not the telling of how she speaks to you now. Many are the branchings and twistings of Ravel, and many are her secrets. I need you, and I need you knowing of this. Yeah, what do you mean unlock me? same. Return, I will give what help I can. But in the end, only one question remains. What can change the nature of a man? At, at the question, you feel a tremor pass through like thunder, and you feel yourself burn. You're standing once again before the green stone. It looks different than before. More horrid, somehow. Okay. Updated my journal. Uh, hmm. So the forgy, forges and steel. Hmm. Forges and steel. I will hear you. How may I help? Are we though, Pits? <laughs> I don't actually know. I, like I know that's that's probably like the response, but 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 are you? <laughs> that is the question this game has put to us. Hmm. Uh, can you help me? Can I buy something? Oh, they've got a bunch of stuff. All right. I'm gone. Forges and steel. All right, world map. Hmm. All right. All right, quick save. Now, someone here who knows the key. I am basing this mostly on my video games, how they work, logic, but I feel like it's the 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 child detect guy, this guy, the the yeah, Done. the jumbled up loopy guy. Greetings, child detect sorcerer extraordinaire. Some questions. Uh, 
questions? Are you mute? Is that why you won't answer me? He sticks his tongue out at you. Yeah, see, okay. Last time I did this, yeah, he cursed me. I, he cursed me with hiccups. And I don't know how you would get rid of that, but hey. <clears throat> he is called Jumble Murder Sense, yes. Uh, excuse me. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. Of <laughs> the New England murder senses. Alright. Okay. My questions. Truth? Bluff. What the? Updated my journal. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you help me out, Ramoon? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm listening. I'm trying to concentrate here. Don't you have... Okay. Simple mind, simple pleasures. You've got spells? Yeah. Restoration, curse, aid, flame walk prayer, remove curse. Okay. Uh, yeah, remove. Prepare, remove curse. I actually don't know if that's going to help. No, I'd have to rest. I'd have to go rest. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh, this one. Let's make this an actual save game. Okay. Uh. Questions? Uh, what the? Updated my journal. Blah. Jumble. Please. Okay. So, yes. let's get you to unprepare this and prepare a remove curse. Endure. Hi. What's up? And then, well, let's see if I actually, hold on, hold on, I should actually check, see what it does. Uh... Oh, does not remove the curse from the actual item itself if there are cursed items. Hmm. Okay, that probably doesn't help. Yeah, this one. Okay. Endure. What's up? Yes. In enduring hmm. strong. Alright. All right. It probably is that guy. Yeah, you don't have that curse from an item. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gone. There's other stuff I can try though. Let's go back to the lower ward. Um, oh no wait, I have to. 
I have to get to an archway first, I remember. I'm doing it the wrong way around. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Off we go, gang. I think the lower ward, so marketplace, marketplace, siege tower, print shop. There's forges and steel that she mentioned. Right. And there was... Okay, in the marketplace... There was... Right. Something. I think it was one of these ones. Cinder. Was it you? Do you know anything about what's going on? Uh, oh no, he's got spells. Uh, never mind. Um, where's someone? Oh no, uh, Laszlo. What about you? Tending a furnace. Aha. Need some help? Ah. Can you... What is this place? Open air market. And, uh... The furnace is used to... I don't know, it's important. Keep it stoked and burning, right? The father one of the merchants? And... Okay, that's him over there. He may be able to point you to it. What kind of goods? Food, drink, magic weapons... Okay, other questions. Tell me about this ward. Lower ward. Common folk live here, like me and Dar. Now it's called the lower ward? No. Why is it called the lower ward? You've got a mess of portals to the lower planes all riddled through it like cheese, so it does. So I suppose that's why the name stuck. Hmm. Mystery as it is to you. <laughs> Not such if there's a reason for the portals as much as the circumstances. Could be the ladies' will, could be chance. Uh -huh. Creatures come out? <laughs> Aye, they do. Most of them are just stopping through. You've seen this yourself? Oh, yeah. I have. Just, just last week or so, I saw a couple of Abishai come through a portal. They talked a good bit and then went back through. <laughs> One stayed. He's still there. They was just hissing and such, but I think they were talking about the tower. Updated my journal. One of the strangest sights to be in the ward. No one really knows how long that scarred old tower has been around. You can't get into it, you know? Bolted up tighter than a chastity belt. <laughs> What's in there? The Abishai was gesturing at the tower in the portal. He was looking for the key, I bet. Hmm. Portal that leads to the tower. Uh, no matter how hard you try, you found. Updated once. my journal. I don't know, cut it. Maybe. Updated hmm. my journal. Drawbridge like contraption back of the tower, east of the market. That's where it is. <laughs> Gets a far away look. What's this question? Oh, sickness. Bad air, smog, yeah. Ladies will, I guess. Fill <laughs> from the spire and blows the city clear of smog, but not often as I would would be liked. Hmm. Anything worth seeing? The Great Foundry. Home of the Believers, you know. Most of them are more amazing sites than the upper, upper walls. Centre of the wall, pretty much. Presser structure, to be sure. You just head north. Big gates. Okay. Uh, a bunch of factions. Uh, in depths. A faction that's not really a faction. Believes that people are free to do as they will. Hmm. <laughs> Them that govern most of your day to day business. Blah, blah, blah. There's the dead, the dustmen that take care of all the dead bodies, there's the governors that make the laws, the sensates. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Hmm. I hear your yeah. words. How may I help? Now that's interesting. Whoop. Shop, wrecked house, coffin maker, upper ward. Okay, the siege tower. Done. Let me check my journal real quick. Drawbridge east of the market. The portal may lead to the siege tower. Maybe I should check this out. 
Ah. Drawbridge. Suppress any desire to enter the tower. Aha! It works. Cronian head scales covering body of our shade of green. Hello. His grass suck not talk told waits. Hate drips from its eyes. Oh no, I don't want mm. that sure says a lot for someone who doesn't talk. Go oh, now. Okay, yeah, we pissed it off. Okay, bye. Shoop, going through. <laughs> Ha ha! Oh, hello. I'm gone. Oh, look at look at that flame. Oh, that's that's your perfect like. Yeah. Look at that though, like the the, the sort of. Proper 90s flame, yeah. And it's green. Um, hello friend. An iron creature, its size is staggering. If it stood full height, it would shatter the roof of the siege tower. Thundering echoes throughout the walkway as the creature hammers away on its forge. The smell of certain ash fills the air. Hello. My journal. Screaming of metal on metal as a giant turns to face you. The golem is built into the siege tower itself. Girders, pipes, and huge braces run through its lower torso and into the walls, and the bottom portion of its body makes up the forge itself. What are you? I am iron given purpose. I, uh, I forge the implement by which the multiverse will be unmade. The, uh, huh? Okay. Metal is like flesh. Both carry potential in their veins. When tempered with heat and pressure, the potential surfaces. My purpose is to bring forth this potential. Allow it expression. Who do you make them for? I forge them for the sake of entropy. They are pain seeking expression. Beyond this tower, order rallies its legions. The multiverse heals its wounds. In time, its strength may equal entropy. Oh, so it's one golem against the multiverse. Updated my journal breathes, it grows, it stagnates, it forges its chains around the plains link by link in time. Even entropy may be chained. And you're opposed to that. When a thing seals itself against its own destruction, it merely dies a different death. Take, yeah, what made you take up Entropy's cause? All things have a common ground in decay. War is necessary. Death is necessary. Decay is necessary. And how much of this is too much? There are no limits. Limits are one of the links in the chain of order. Limits must be shattered. All must fall upon Entropy's blade. The time nears when it will be necessary to breach the walls of creation. Order will be put to the sword, its chains will be broken, the multiverse will be unmade. Yes, yeah, smash the stay at the highest level. Ask. What is this place? A siege engine, it exists to breach the walls between planes. What? Updated my journal. The tower anchors itself upon a plane. A wound is torn in the multiverse when the bridge of the tower opens. Legions may pass from one plane to the other through the tower when the plane has severed has served Entropy's purpose, the tower anchors itself again. Ah, Entropy has unmade them. The planes of Siege Tower invaded. Entropy has unmade them. Okay, what are you? I am Iron. I had some other questions. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why do you make weapons? The iron of my body once existed only as minor expressions of pain. Blades, spears, axes, arrowheads, rivets, and catapults. From these implements of war was I wrought. 
These minor expressions of pain were melted to forge this body. My potential was of outer service. Now my purpose is to bring out the potential in other metals. Yeah, who do that? Entropy raised me from the planar battlefields. Remind me to uh, thank Entropy when I see him again, yeah. Metal is like flesh, both carry potential in their veins. Okay. You do anything with my weapons? Show me what you have brought. Oh, I can buy. Oh. 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 Show me what you got. <laughs> Uh, that's a, a knife. Uh, that's not a knife. Ooh. Wait. Why will he only sell the brimstone hammer to Mort? Also, that's huge. Hmm. How interesting. He doesn't want to buy anything off me. I like that he doesn't have an option to pickpocket him. Because after all, how would that work? Alright, you there, buddy. I got some questions. More, uh, you know, the Blood War? The war by which the planes will be unmade. Lifetimes of many metals. It was on the f this forge that the screaming projectiles that tore the smoking skies of Avernus were made. Weapons so sharp the wind itself knew agony. Oh, um. Fair enough. Night Hag, name Bravo. The Night Hag sought to sunder this city. Her greatest works were those of unmaking. She walked the path of entropy. Aha. Uh -huh. mm Mm-hmm. What happened to Updated her? Updated my journal. Order set chains about her. She was cast within a cage. And do you know where that is? Her prison is unknown to me. Damn it. Who do you make the weapons for? For the sake of entry, they're paying me. Eh. Hmm. I think we've got, uh, exhausted everything here. Well, I mean, okay. He doesn't know where this cage is, though. Huh. Only an extra dimensional sense. Uh, no. Stream is new playing through the siege tower itself. Huh. Well, what do you know? Interesting. know that we've got anything else to, to gain from here. But we can pop back out, I guess. Done. Huh. Because I was thinking, like, she said, like, forge and metal, and that's where that is. But we don't know the key. Even if that's where the door is, we don't know. Even if this siege tower is the way in. I don't know. Although, hold on. Can I? Oh, yeah. Desire. I'm gone. There isn't anything else. I'm gone. Hmm. Yeah.
find a door, know the key, and unlock the key. Size of this lad, absolute unit. Done. And she did, and and the thing did say like iron and forges and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure. He doesn't know where this cage is. Order. I wonder. Alright, back to the clerk's ward. Shoosh. Under sigil, the apothecary. Ah. I'll try and find. Done. Actually, hold on. Yeah, you there. I feel like the, the lower ward and that whole area is probably the right place to go. Never did go in here actually, now that I'm here. This is the advocate's home, it said. Can we go inside? Advocate's house. Done. Right, everybody wait there. I'm, I'm gone. Gonna look around. And there's the advocate. Solid crystal tank, fish frozen inside, silver mirror. Hello. Dressed in soft blue robes covered with intricate designs. Despite the opulence, the robes are wrinkled and worn. Man's age, somewhere between middle age and early 60s. The worry lines making exact determination difficult. Stuck with a terrible sense that you know this man or did at one time. Yes, is there something I can help you with? Updated my journal. I am Yanis. Were you looking for me? What is this place? These are my offices. Do you seek counsel? If not, perhaps you'd best test your curiosity elsewhere. Updated my journal. He's saying he's a liar, a counselor, one of those bucks who rattle their bomb boxes at the courts. <coughs> Navigate the Labyrinth of Sigil's legal system, arranges legacies for citizens to ensure that their property is divided as they choose upon death. Did you need help in any of these areas? Ah, the legacy of a young woman. 687KS. My daughter's legacy? How do you know my daughter? Oh. Ah, I'm hoping the legacy can answer that. 
How are you, sir, that my daughter would have left a legacy for you? It is possible that I knew her once and have forgotten her. You do seem familiar somehow. Do you know who I am? I must confess I do not. Yeah, if you get the legacy, it might answer some questions for us both. Of course, I will. Hold a moment, I shall return presently. Updated my journal. Heck yeah! All the articles are accounted for. I had no idea she had established a legacy here. Here you are, if I may. May I read them, sir? Let me read them first, then I shall decide. Of course. <laughs> Please, I beg you, you have very little left to remember my daughter by. Ah. Shall have a chance to look at them. For now, however, perhaps there's something else you can help me with. Excuse me, but are you alright? No. Hmm. Trying time. Anything I could help with? No, no, a little that can be done. I appreciate your offer. I was talking. I lost my daughter not long ago. There's also a fire, but that is another matter. Yes, my daughter Dianara passed away some time ago. She had become a ghost and claimed she knew me. Well, what? What did you just say? Her spirit now resides in the memorial hall. Ah. Uh. Uh. Seems to be in distress. You spoke to her? What distresses her? Ah. Uh. She said that she loved me and that I had loved her and that I had forsaken her. And you are you the one she left sigil with? The one who led her on that journey that killed her? I think I may be that man, but I have forgotten much. Forgotten? But it was not so long ago. I lose myself for time. Anything you can tell me about myself or your daughter would be invaluable. You do not strike me as one of them. If you truly do not remember, then whatever befell you and my daughter on your journey must have left deep scars. Yes. Memory returns and you discover what has happened to my daughter. Return to me so that my mind may at last be at rest on the matter. Now if I find out what happened to her, I will return, if I can. Now leave, I must be alone with my thoughts. Alright, what do we got? Ah! Dianara's ring. Dianara's legacy. A healing scroll. Ah! Oh. Ivory ring was part of Dianara's legacy. Radiate, oh, plus one to all saves, armor class, and plus three AC versus piercing. That seems pretty good. Wedding ring that only you can use, yeah. Ah! It's a peculiar stone from Elysium dubbed Soul Stone. While this stone is not as powerful as the Sensory Stones, Soul Stone is sent to carry an imprint of the Shaper's feelings. Often used in Sensei marriage ceremonies, each ring is inscribed with the feelings of the other, intended for you. I mean, I'll take it. Did we get anything else? Here, you know what? Just take some of these. You have that. And also this. Ah, letter. Alright, what do we got? If you are reading this, then the tragedy I have seen has come to pass. I have died and you have remained to suffer the loss. I know why you were forced to shield your feelings from me. You sought to protect me from the terrible burden you carry with you. The distance you kept between us was your way of protecting me, and the brief moments when we were alone and you let your feelings be known, that was when I knew you cared for me. Carry no regrets with you, carry no guilt, for I came with you on your haunted journey of my own accord, and no matter how death came for me, I know that you did everything in your power to save me. Hmm. Our lives are intertwined, my love, and death shall not be a wall between us. For my sight has seen what is to come. Only in staccato segments, but it is enough for me to know that we will be separated for a time. But we shall be reconciled again. Thus do not see my death as a farewell, but only as an interval before we meet again. Carry my ring with you and these other pieces of me and think of me. Keep me in your mind and heart, and that will be the beacon that brings us together. Woof. Oh, a healing scroll. 
Nice. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna put a healing scroll there. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it just. Oh, on, le on this legacy. If you mean the healing scroll, it's not gonna work. It, it heals wounds. It doesn't raise the dead, and she is dead. But going back to talk to her might not be a bad idea anyway. Well, that was a hell of a thing. Let's see. Hmm. Can you tell me about the fire? I can't imagine that would have been precious in the documents that were burned, but someone must have wanted them destroyed. I may have been responsible. Uh, yeah. It was not in my right mind. I regret my actions and ask your forgiveness. But why? Those memories of documents were threatening to this other self of mine. I do not believe I will ever know. Actions are not my own. I have heard of such symptoms of the mind. Temporary amnesia and the emergence of another personality. There, there is a fact you have chosen to claim responsibility. Similar to my condition. Oh. Hmm. Updated my journal. 4,000 XP! There is nothing to forgive. I have come to terms with the loss. No lasting harm has been done. There is nothing of value among the documents burned. What were they? Legacies. Deliverable at the death of the client. They provide specifics on how a person's possessions are to be divided. Wills. Yeah. Oh, my no. Okay. Uh, hmm. Updated my journal. One has already signed. Little or nothing can be done once the signature is in place. The dustman contract is quite specific. Ah. I'm grateful. I'm an advocate, not a rug merchant. Greed is not permitted to step into my office. Ah, oh, that's nice. Tell me about your daughter. She was young. She had recently joined the Society of Sensation, the Sensei. It's not an unpleasant faction. She had also met someone there. I was not able to recover her body. Updated my journal. Ah, where did she go? She never said. I'm not certain she was capable of saying where they had gone. It must have been a terrible place. How did she die? The body was never recovered, and that is perhaps the most maddening part. I would never know what possessed her to run off like that. I went to the dustman to see if they had found her body, and they directed me to one of their faction outside the dustman monument, a dustman named Death of Names. Certainly those who have died. He told me my daughter had died. Hey, Arconic Energy! <laughs> Welcome. Ah, uh, you say she was a sensei. Yes. She had joined them because of her gift and the fact that there was so much about the multiverse that she wanted to experience and lend themselves readily to the sharing of experience and sensation. A sensory stone and sensorium that contained a fragment of her experiences. There is, but in which one? Uh, yeah. I must find a way. Perhaps they would make an exception for her father. Um, if you wanted, I could speak to someone. I'm certain they would make an exception. Updated my journal. Now, what was she like? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. Uh, do you know how? Hmm. It's been a terrible place. Yeah, here's the... I can see. He studies the scroll. You meant very much to my daughter. She was willing to give up her life for you. I believe that is the case. Updated my journal. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your kindness. The least I can do. Perhaps there's something... Uh, uh, yeah, farewell. You know, I've learned some new tricks. Hey, someone leveled up. That'll do. Oh, we've got points. Okay.
I guess we should put some more points beyond beyond just that. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I'm like trying to keep it fairly even, I guess. Let's do that. Sure, sounds good. How much to the next level? Oh, we're very close to another level. Well, that was interesting. I'm listening. My, I guess, narrative senses are tingling because there's something weird that they didn't right. find the body. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's have a little total, eh? Hmm. Alright, alright. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Like, is she actually dead or is she pretending to do that for reasons? Uh, I think it would be this part of the hive. No, this one, yeah. Oh, so, Keeb. Uh, fun fact. Here's the mortuary. This is where uh, you were hanging out last session. Well, around the back of it, anyway. Actually, let's see if I can go around the side. See, here it is. It's a big, round building. Hmm, can I put on the dustman robes? Cannot use item. Use this outside the mortuary, okay. Still, I do have the dustman robes, so. Can I? Combat skills are most impressive, Dacon. Ah. They are but specks upon Zerthamon's path. Hmm, cool. Ah, no. See, I can't go in that way, huh? This door has been sealed. Ah. Uh, there was a way in. Or rather, there was a way out. <laughs> oh, hello, Dubbus. Huh. What's in here, then? Uh, hello? Uh, sorry for disturbing you. Uh, I do need the succubus for she'll turn in as she will. Yeah, what's this? Nothing. Okay. That's the way out. There it is. Uh Mausoleum, Dustman Monument. There was the portal back into Yeah, there was the way I got out, the portal. Which might let me go back in again, I don't know. Or it might not. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I came out. Was it here? Oh, hello. All right. That's a lot of Darbus. Okay, there's not much here. Office of Vermin and Disease Control. Ah. That seems like a, a good place to have in somewhere called the Hive. <laughs> Maybe I should just go check that out. That would be something at least. Ah. Oh, hello. Phineas T. Lort the 39th. <laughs> Squat man with rash covered skin and several pustules on his face. Mark of some sort of official there, dirty, wrinkled, and covered with rat hair. Scrambling himself. <laughs> ah! 
Yes, yes, what is it can I do for you? Uh, I'm nothing to, in the tales we've come to plunder the premise. This locale is ill-chosen. What's here to plunder the premises? Who are you? I am the respected Phineas T. Lord the 39th, in charge of this hive branch of the Office for Vermin and Disease Control. My distinguished privilege to inform you that we, in the bureaucratic sense of the word, we, meaning to encompass the sigil bureaucracy as a whole, are accepting bounties on all manner of vermin and strays that infest the fair streets of sigil, the hub of the multiverse, and the city which sits at the centre of all things, the city by, by which all other cities are measured. Updated my journal. Yes, yes, we in the bureaucratic sense of the word, meaning to encompass sigil bureaucracy as a whole, are accepting tangible proof of eradication of brain vermin, aka cranium rats, from the hive area where they have clustered quite thickly for the past many years, a recent sense, as a recent census of the vermin population has shown. I am empowered by the sigillian bureaucracy to pay a bounty of <clears throat> one copper common per cranium rat delivered to my branch office. Cranium rats are a species of vermin that become more intelligent the more of them are in close proximity. One cranium rat alone is but a nuisance that chews at boards and burrows into the food, but five, ten or more, and their intelligence grows until it surpasses even the intelligence of one such as myself. Two or three cranium rats might be enough to outwit you, sir. Any more, another comment like that, you'd be wearing your ass as a hat. Hmm, I withdraw my most inappropriate comment, especially in light of your recent assertion of dominance and physical superiority in this social situation. Well, enough to a bounty hunter alike. I was born here in Sigil. <laughs> well, it's quite an epic. I was born here in Sigil, and then sometime later. And then I realized that I had somehow offended my colleagues, as for I found myself promoted to this branch office, and have remained here for these past many years. <sighs> Did that Was that just a rest? It was, wasn't it? Junk. Door is locked, is it? I'm here. Might as well. We'll see about that. Oh, conventional lock. Okay. Unconventional lock. Balance what? in I'm all here. things. Huh. Huh. Wow. I'm gone. Hmm. That was certainly a thing. Well, you know, we made some progress. Also, I think I'm probably going to call it there because I can feel the truck getting a bit sore. Well, we did make some progress and found some things, but. Yeah, I just have more questions than answers now. Let's put, let's drop a new save. And let's go back here. I'll go back to the roof. So yeah, um, I'm going to call it there for tonight before uh, I wear my voice out. Um, but yeah, that was, you know, we're making progress. Slowly, but we're making progress. So we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I shall probably try and stream again tomorrow. Uh, maybe try and start a little bit earlier, see if that makes any difference, or see if that works better. Um, maybe I can go a bit longer if I do that. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. I'll be back uh, next time. Alright, bye. Let's call it there. Thanks for watching.